today we're going to do a sailboat painting and uh, we're using regular temper paint. The first thing we got to do is block in our sea. Um, just fill that in with blue. Nothing tricky about it, just block it in. Um, went about one third down the page and that line there was a boo boo, so I'm going to erase that. Um, now I'm blocking in the sky and I'm mostly using white. And uh, there was a little bit of blue on my brush still from the uh, from the water, um, but I don't want to use too much blue because I want a light sky blue. I threw in a little pink, not too much, just for interest sake. So here we go. Got a nice, even, um, romantic sky, if you will. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, sketch in the uh, background and the boat. Um, and I slowed the speed down of this because I thought this might be a part that people would be nervous about. But you're just doing a little sketch lines. Uh, nothing um, that you can't fix later if it doesn't come out exactly the way you want it. Just a simple little boat shape with a long mass. And in the background, um, some lines that indicate trees. All right, next what we're going to do is uh, I got some yellow in my brush and we're going to block in the sails, um, painting two large triangles. I want my triangles to be not symmetrical. I want there to be a little difference, but, but even though they are very similar. And then after I draw in my triangular shapes, I just go ahead and scrub that yellow in. And um, the paint's going to pick up the other colors that are already on the palette, but that's okay. That kind of makes it interesting. And I'm mixing wet into wet, so I added a little bit of um, white into the yellow, and it gives it a uh, highlight. And it kind of gives it that feeling of the sun shining on the sails, which is nice. Uh, now we're filling in the background with green, and that is reminiscent of the distant shore. Um, now just green out of the tube is a little bit boring, so I mixed in a little bit of orange there. Now I'm blocking in the boat, and I'm using black and brown, more black than brown, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it a darker value than the already dark water, and so I added a little black. Now I want to create some texture in the water so that it's not just um, a solid shape. So um, adding dabs and waves of color in the water to give the feeling of choppy water and give it that impressionistic look, um, creating some reflection of the sails. Now we're just adding some finishing touches, going back in and seeing if there's any lines I want to add in to just make the artwork a little bit stronger. Um, right there I was thinking I wanted to warm up the sail a little bit. So I added a touch of orange into that yellow sail. Just making minor adjustments. Give it in a second glance. Now, I did this very um, quick, but remember you can rewatch this video. You can press pause. Um, you can paint along with me and then hit pause. You can rewind. Um, and work at your own speed. And when you do final touches, you kind of like draw back in with the paint. So picking up smaller brushes and drawing back in. And I think I'm pretty happy with that now. Uh, when you wash your brush, you want to um, paint the bottom of the bowl and then I dry it with a paper towel to get that color off so that my colors don't stay contaminated or don't get contaminated, my colors stay clean. Um, I'm adding reflections of the, of the greenery into the water just to make that water more interesting. And here's my end piece. Have fun.